he's I think Donald Trump's getting pressured by um, by who? Like what? By, by neocons, the people that are opposite of him, from Sheldon Adelson especially, loves I mean, loves uh, this guy Bolton. So this is a Sheldon Adelson thing. It would be an absolute disaster for the State Department. It would be a disaster for the incoming Secretary of State, whoever it was, and it would be a disaster for the Trump administration and for America. But other than that, Willie, I don't really have an opinion on it, so I'm going to just sit back and see how it goes. Well, I, I invite... But disaster actually fits John Bolton in this position. Well, let's hope. We've all said that Donald Trump is the last guy in the room, right? He trusts himself above all. Yeah. Let's hope he trusts himself not to put this guy in. I invite our viewers to go back and read John Bolton's comments, recent comments about the Iraq War and see what they think about what he might do with Iran or another country like that. He believes, despite everything we know about Iraq, that it was still a good idea to go in, that the world was better because Saddam Hussein is not in it, and that's enough for him. And Trump campaigned against that. I he campaigned, campaigned against, against it constantly. It was the core of his foreign policy message. I was Stupid against war. the Iraq war. So if he puts one of his most important selections, a guy who still thinks, one of the few people that still thinks yeah. invading Iraq and losing thousands and thousands of lives and trillions and trillions of dollars. He still thinks that's a good idea when he eviscerated Jeb Bush for hesitating on this during the campaign. Then all Donald Trump's doing is playing right into his critics' hands. I think he needs to tell Sheldon, Sheldon Adelson, sorry. Listen, I, I, I love you, buddy, and I'll, you know, Play blackjack at a table out of your casino, <laughs> later, but I can't let you destroy U.S. foreign policy because you like this guy. So.